Honorable members, I refer with profound sorrow to the passing away of Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, a former president of India, on the 27th of July 2015, at the age of 83 years. Born in October 1931 at Rameshwaram in Tamil Nadu, Dr. Kalam was educated at St. Joseph's College, Tiruchupalli, and Madras Institute of Technology. An aerospace engineer, Dr. Kalam started his career as a scientist at the Aeronautical Development Establishment of the Defense Research and Development Organization as a scientist. In 1969, he was associated with the Indian Space Research Organization and was project director of India's first satellite launch vehicle, SLV-3, which successfully deployed the Rohini satellite in near-Earth orbit in 1980. He spearheaded the successful development of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle and SLV-3. His research and educational leadership brought him great laurels and prestige, prompting the government to initiate an advanced missile program under his directorship. He was chief executive of the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program. Dr. Kalam was instrumental in the development of the Agni and Prithvi missiles. He also played a pivotal role in India's Pokhran II nuclear tests in 1998. He piloted India's civilian space program, military missile development efforts, and ballistic missile and launch vehicle technology to the heights which it has reached today. Dr. Kalam served as Chief Scientific Advisor to the Prime Minister and as Secretary of Defense Research and Development Organization from July 1992 to December 1999. He also developed a low-cost coronary stent in 1998 and a rugged tablet computer for healthcare in rural areas in 2012. Dr. Kalam authored numerous inspirational books, notable being his biography, Wings of Fire, India 2020, A Vision for the New Millennium, and Ignited Minds Unleashing the Power Within India. He also enjoyed writing Tamil poetry and playing the veena. Dr. Kalam was the recipient of several awards, including the Padma Bhushan in 1981, Padma Vibhushan in 1990, and the Bharat Ratan in 1997. Dr. Kalam served as the 11th President of India from 2002 to 2007. He endeared himself to his colleagues and all those who were associated with him. And this quality earned him the title People's President. His leadership style and vision are not just valued in India, but commanded respect wherever he went. He visualized a distinctive profile of India by the year 2020, which included responsive, transparent, and corruption-free governance and where the nation is proud of its leadership through creative and effective leadership in parliament, state assemblies, and other institutions of the state. He reposed great faith in the youth of the country and believed that through proper guidance, they will be able to transform India into a developed nation, which is one of his greatest dreams. Dr. Kalam was active in the field of academics even after demitting office as president and was visiting professor in many premier educational institutions across the country. He launched in May 2012 a program for the youth of India with the central theme of defeating corruption called What Can I Give? 
In the passing away of Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, the country has lost a true son of India and his contribution to the nation in his capacity as a man of technology, a teacher and a leader will be deeply cherished by a grateful nation. He was a guide to India's space and missile programs and his efforts saw India become a front-ranking power in these spheres. His death is an irreparable loss to the country. His life will always remain a source of inspiration to all. We deeply mourn the passing away of Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam.